Deserts typically evoke images of vast sand dunes, scorching heat, and little or no vegetation. It seems impossible to associate these dry landscapes with abundant seafood production. Yet, China has defied these expectations by transforming a desert into a thriving sea, yielding impressive amounts of seafood. Through remarkable innovation and advanced technology, China has managed to not only green the desert, but also create a marine green space in its heart. In today's video, we delve into the incredible story of how China accomplished this feat astonishing the world with their ingenuity and vision. Imagine a vast dried landscape stretching as far as the eye can see, with nothing but golden sand dunes and the scorching sun beating down. This was the reality across much of China just 50 years ago. Deserts dominated large swaths of the country, making the land seem barren and inhospitable. But the Chinese government had a vision to transform these desolate deserts into fertile, productive lands. They realized the immense potential in greening these arid regions, especially for agriculture. So they set to work, implementing ambitious plans and harnessing cutting-edge desert terraforming technology. One of their remarkable achievements was covering the longest desert highway in Xinjiang with lush green forests. What was once an endless expanse of sand has been reclaimed by vibrant plant life. But that's just the start of the desert's transformation. In recent years, Xinjiang has seen major breakthroughs in an unexpected area. Seafood farming. Yes, you heard that right. Raising fish, shrimp, abalone, and even lobsters in the desert. It's an astonishing feat that was once thought impossible. The key to this success lies in a pioneering project by the Xinjiang aquaculture company Shishan. Established in 2022, this company has developed technology to simulate seawater environments right in the heart of the desert. They take advantage of naturally salty water sources and carefully adjust the mineral and nutrient levels to mimic different ocean habitats. This incredible achievement not only provides a source of seafood for inland regions, but also addresses concerns over food security. In fact, the company's success gained widespread attention after China recently banned all Japanese seafood imports due to the discharge of wastewater from the Fukushima nuclear plant. To maintain the ideal conditions for their aquatic crops, Xinjiang aquaculture company Shishan has built a network of indoor ponds and greenhouses. Here, they carefully cultivate eight different types of seafood before transferring them to outdoor ponds. The result have been nothing short of remarkable, both in terms of production and economic impact. One company manager, Guo Junyu, shared that they can sell black tiger shrimp for an incredible 200 yuan, which is around $30 per kilogram. This has significantly boosted incomes and improved living standards in the area, serving as a model for rural economic development. China, already the world's largest seafood provider, is now doubling down on efforts to ensure food security. With global markets facing instability due to geopolitical tensions, climate change, and conflicts, the country is prioritizing self-sufficiency in agricultural production. Xinjiang is at the forefront of this push, chosen as one of the seven pilot areas for cultivating salt and alkaline tolerant rice, also known as seawater rice. However, the region's arid climate presents challenges, with water scarcity being a significant hurdle. To address this, fish farms in Xinjiang have tapped into unconventional water sources, such as snowmelt from mountainous areas and groundwater pumped from beneath the mountains. The goal is ambitious, to increase Xinjiang's annual seafood output to a staggering 30,000 tons by 2025, contributing to China's national target of 69 million tons in the same year. Freshwater fishing activities in Xinjiang also provide significant income. Shu Qing'e, a fisherman, drives his boat towards the center of Boston Lake in the gentle morning light, prepared for a busy day at work. Over the past few years, efforts have been made to revitalize Boston Lake with a staggering 87 million cubic meters of water being diverted from the Kaidu River since 2018. This influx has not only improved water circulation, but has also enhanced the overall quality of the lake's ecosystem. One of the lake's most remarkable features is its expansive reed beds, stretching across more than 40,000 hectares. These wetlands play a crucial role, acting as natural filters for the water while providing a sanctuary for a diverse array of bird species and aquatic life. Indeed, the flourishing environment has attracted an astonishing 198 different types of wild birds, 
each adding to the richness of this ecological tapestry. The revival of Boston Lake has breathed new life into Xinjiang's fishing industry, transforming it into the region's largest seafood production base. Each year, the lake yields an impressive four tons of various delicacies, including grass carp, freshwater shrimp, and coveted crabs. Yuan Jianu, the proud owner of a crab farming facility, beams with pride as he shares his plans for the future. Last year, we released 36 million crab seeds and started harvesting in August. This season, we plan to introduce Australian freshwater lobsters and expand our operations, allowing more consumers to savor the exquisite seafood treasures of Xinjiang. As early as 1957, scientists conceived the ambitious idea of flooding the El Yuf Basin in the heart of the Sahara Desert, transforming it into a sprawling sea reminiscent of Ireland's expanse. The visionary behind this audacious plan was a Scottish engineer named Donald Mackenzie, who proposed carving a 644-kilometer canal from Morocco to the basin, thereby forming an inland sea spanning an incredible 96,500 square kilometers. Similarly, in the 1870s, Captain Francois-Élie Roudet of the French army, inspired by the revolutionary Suez Canal, envisioned a 193-kilometer waterway connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Chot el jerid Salt Lake area in southern Tunisia. This ambitious project aimed to flood a staggering 4,828 square kilometers of sandy terrain transforming it into a verdant oasis. Houdet's daring plan garnered the support of none other than Ferdinand de Lesseps, the legendary French diplomat renowned for his pivotal role in the construction of the Suez Canal itself. Although several expeditions ultimately determined that the targeted area was not actually below sea level, and the escalating costs rendered the ambitious plan impractical, it nevertheless captured the imagination of the renowned writer Jules Verne. In his novel, Invasion of the Sea, published in 1905, Verne wove a captivating tale in which an earthquake played a pivotal role in the creation of an inland sea in northern Africa, paying homage to the visionary concept. Egypt, too, had its own bold proposal to bring the sea to the Sahara Desert. The Plowshare Project, an initiative of the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission, calculated that detonating 213 nuclear bombs would be required to create a canal capable of flooding the Katara Depression, a vast expanse 60 meters below sea level. However, several international agreements prohibiting the detonation of nuclear weapons ultimately led to the project's termination in 1977. More recently, in 2018, a Silicon Valley company called Y Combinator introduced a radical idea to combat global warming by flooding the Algodonas Desert area in California. Their ambitious plan involved creating millions of 0.4 hectare water reservoirs for cultivating algae, effectively transforming the area into a vast carbon sink. However, with an estimated cost of a staggering $50 trillion, this project has yet to gain significant traction. The threat of desertification looms large, posing a formidable challenge that the international community has long recognized as a multifaceted issue intertwined with economic, social, and environmental factors across numerous countries worldwide. The United Nations has sounded the alarm, warning that the desertification represents one of the most significant environmental challenges of our time. According to UN projections, by 2030, the fashion industry alone is expected to consume a staggering 35% more land, primarily to cultivate raw materials for mass market clothing. Moreover, the staggering amount of food lost or wasted annually is equivalent to the production capacity of 1.4 billion hectares of arable land. Alarmingly, this burning demand for land resources is colliding with a stark reality. The limited supply of arable land is under severe threat of degradation. Each year, a harrowing 12 million hectares of land are lost due to factors such as land degradation, desertification, and recurring droughts. This process, in which once fertile land becomes progressively depleted of nutrients through unsustainable practices like deforestation, overfarming, or the impacts of climate change, ultimately renders the soil barren and arid. Without timely intervention, these degraded lands will inexorably slide into the grips of desertification, gradually losing their ability to sustain life and productivity. The consequences of inaction are grave, jeopardizing the food security and economic stability of nations worldwide. So what was once a barren, lifeless desert is now a testament to human ingenuity and determination.
Through innovative technologies and a relentless pursuit of agricultural self-sufficiency, China has once again proven to be the master in this game. What are your thoughts on this project? Feel free to share them in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more.